First tonight, more breaking news, this time in Queens. A New York City cop shot and killed during a traffic stop in Far Rockaway. A visibly shaken Mayor Adams delivering the news. We lost one of our sons today. Other cops returning fire tonight, hitting one of the suspects. We have two reports. Lucy Yang on the scene with what eyewitnesses saw and heard. And Jim Dolan at Jamaica Hospital, where so many of that officer's brothers and sisters in blue are still gathered tonight. Jim? Sandra, this should have been just a routine traffic stop, a car illegally parked in a traffic in a bus stop in Far Rockaway. But as officers approached that car, one of the passengers in it pulled a gun and shot one of the officers just below his protective vest. Jonathan Diller was a father and a husband, and he was a cop who protected this city until his final breath. Jonathan Diller was a cop for just three years, protecting the city he loved and standing tonight in the breach. It is the good guys against the bad guys. And these bad guys are violent. They carry guns. And the symbol of our public safety, which is that police uniform, they have a total disregard for. Police officers from the NYPD's community response team embraced tonight. Grim, mournful support after losing one of their own. Shattered glass on the streets of Far Rockaway, where an officer and his partner were stopping a car there tonight when the passenger in the front seat pulled a gun. He was asked to leave the car. He was given a lawful order numerous times to step out of the car. He refused. And when the officer took him out of the car, instead of stepping out of the car, he shot our officer. The officer's partner returned fire, hitting the gunman, but they still scuffled as the gunman dropped his weapon. The gun hit the ground, and as the perpetrator was still reaching for it, this cop was able to grab it, although he was still shot. We should not be here right now. We should never be here praying for the life of an NYPD officer. <clears throat> but we are, and this is why. Jonathan Diller leaves behind a wife and a child and both his parents and a city that mourns with them tonight. There'll be plenty of time for anger, grief, and for processing pain. But right now, our prayers are with our fallen officer's family, his fellow cops, and every member of the New York City Police Department. We have to bury another cop. It's extremely, extremely painful for the city. When we place this officer in the grave, we're placing our symbol of public safety. That's what he stood for. Mayor Eric Adams, obviously a former police officer himself. One suspect was struck by return. Fire police have not yet released his condition. Both men are in custody.